Dear Dickinsonians, I'm here today with my good friend and mentor, Judge Jones, to make an announcement. It's been an absolute privilege to be Dickinson's 29th president these four years. I've loved every minute of it. It's been an extremely difficult decision to leave Dickinson, a place that I love, an education that I believe in so much. But I've been asked to return to the American University of Nigeria, and I feel compelled to go to continue the work that we began a number of years ago in peace building and extending education, not just to young Nigerians, but to Africans throughout the continent and to many young children who are out of school. I've said to many students here, our work, our education must be used for the common good. And that's what compels me to make this decision. So when you leave an institution and a place and people that you believe in so much, you always worry about what's coming next. There are no worries at Dickinson. Um, I believe Dickinson is about to have the most impactful president we've ever had. And I'm just absolutely thrilled that Judge John Jones will be the interim president at Dickinson. John brings all of the knowledge and the skills and the energy needed at this moment to take Dickinson to newer heights. Thank you, Margie, and I thank you for your trust. If it's possible for two people to mentor each other, uh, then you've certainly been my mentor uh, as well. It has been an absolute joy to work with you uh, during these last four years as, as chair of the board. So I'm here with a heavy heart today, but also with great uh, enthusiasm. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a member of the class of 1977. Uh, my son, John, is a member of the class of 2011. I also have a niece, Alexi, who graduated from uh, Dickinson College. So it's all in the family. I love Dickinson College. I have been privileged to be on the board since 2008. So I'm not a newcomer uh, to campus, but I understand that the role of president of the college is distinctly different from my role as chair of the board. During the summer, I will step down from my role as the United States District Judge. I'll retire from that position to take on this position. And of course, I'll also resign as chair of the Board of Trustees. I'm all in in this position as it should be. I feel called uh, to this position. I feel that this is my time uh, to step up and to serve my alma mater. And I expect to do that with great vigor, with great enthusiasm, and total commitment. Let me talk uh, for a moment directly uh, to our students. We're here because of you, and we should never forget that. I've never forgotten that as a chair of the board, and I'll never forget that as a president of the college. You know, our mission remains the same. It is to provide that terrific liberal arts education. We've been innovative, we've been cutting edge at Dickinson, and we'll remain so. But the core mission of Dickinson will remain uh, the same. We produce leaders and Dickinson will continue to produce leaders. So I think that for our students, you should understand that this is an exemplary educational experience. You know, Dickinson has uh, what I have always described as a world-class uh, faculty. I know you, I know most of you, I have worked with you, I have taught uh, uh, classes for many of you. I know uh, that I'll be serving you in a different way. I thank you for everything that you've done, and I hope that you'll give me the same support that you gave and have given to Margie during her tenure as president. And one final word, Margie, thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Uh, as I said, this is a, a bittersweet moment uh, for me. Um, I have uh, found working with you to be uh, such a great privilege, and I have learned so much from you uh, and broadened my horizons, and I look forward to continuing our warm friendship and relationship uh, uh, through all the days ahead. Thank you for those kind words, John. Your support, your advice, your wisdom these four years have been invaluable, and your leadership will shine in this new position, and I wish you all the best.